everybody. Good night. Yeah, we're live and you're messing it up. Just kidding. Welcome back to For the Record Tattoo Talk. It just so happens that we're doing a late night tattoo talk tonight because Love Blood Inc. has nothing but fantastic events going on. So let's start out with the fact that we have the famous Clean Rock One here, okay? Ink Master winner, who knows how many times. A judge too, I believe. As well as we have the best tattoo supply company in the house right now, brought to you by Cleveland, Ohio. I would like to introduce Mike. Come on up here, Mike. Let, help, me, help me talk about the festivities. How you doing? At which are going on here today. Everything goes on here. Everything. You name it. Yeah, it's been great. I yeah. love it. It's like the coolest dysfunctional family you've ever been a part of, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think so, too. Yeah, smooth dif dysfunctional. <laughs> smooth dysfunctional, like a smooth criminal, <laughs> That's a if thing. you will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, like I said, we have several things going on. Mike being here, Clean being here. We have three other guest artists as well. Yeah. Sideshow. Yep. He's badass. Yes. Butcher. Butcher is Tattoos great. by Butcher in the building. They're both brought to you by Wealth and Taste out of Nashville. We got our boy out of Chicago. We got our DJ. boy, whole Rakowski. Yes, sir. He's badass. Yeah. And then you can see behind us, we don't have for the record up tonight, we have the Nate Latte. The Titties. The Titties. <laughs> because that is happening tomorrow. Yep. Our grand opening for that, which is going to be... Probably ridiculous. Oh, crazy. Yeah. It's been crazy since I've been here. Okay. I'm sure you guys it's can like a tell. mall. <laughs> it's like 11, however, at night. Yep. We still got tattoos, tattooing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Lots. There's quite a few going on. Yeah, there. actually. Yeah. Which is great. So um, tell us a little bit about your supply company. How did that start for you? Well, I started... Mm, I would say about a couple years ago, getting into it when I had a run in with another company. We won't say anything, but oh, it gave me inspiration to want to change things. Yeah. And that was to give a, a fair price and a good quality product that something that I would use, something that the, the girls use in the shop and uh, bring it back. So I just saw a lot of things going on with all the corporations taking over and I just didn't like it. And Corporate I thought, freaking business. Yes. Yeah, I mean, they took over a lot of the companies. Nothing yeah. against the companies. I don't, you know, everybody's got to do what they got to do. But right. for me, it's, and then it's setting up all my local guys and they all come to me and they appreciate, you know, what I do. And that, that feels great, you know, it's something I can give back. So, yeah, yeah that's basically it. We, we carry cartridges and machines and uh, needles and two, I mean, you know, everything. So, the yeah. literal supplier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Planning to get bigger and bigger. We love that. Yes. Well, on top of Mike, we actually have an all-star lineup of people to talk with tonight. So I think that maybe we should just go ahead and get the party started. That's right. Considering. Yes. You know what I mean? The man himself. The late night tattoo talk. Our guest number two. I would like to welcome... Dizzy AF to the stage, please. Oh, shit. Here oh, we go. See. You see? <laughs> Love it. You see this fella? That's great. Get you. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hashtag fuck Dizzy, everybody. <laughs> fuck Dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Fuck Dizzy, even though he's kind of bringing the um the real Dizzy. the town of Clarksville <laughs> much joy. I think you guys should be more appreciative of it. Let's let's talk about let's talk about that Dizzy. How has today been for you? I'm fucking tired. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to take my fucking shoes off because Okay. okay. Because <clears throat> it's been a long day. It's been a long day of uh slaying. 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 Mm -hmm. we, we straight slay. Money making. There's only one place in this city where you can walk in <laughs> and a fucking wall-to-wall -wall badass artist yeah. tattooing non-fucking-stop. 
dude, it was ridiculous in the tattoo Rid- shop. Ridiculous. Today. Really? So yeah. I, I take my shoes off, man, because because uh, I'm just tired. You know, get here at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. <laughs> it's fucking quarter to 12. Yeah. Money don't sleep. Money uh, don't sleep. No. Bills don't do sleep. We. One thing I never understood, Callie, Mike, maybe you can, you know, help me out with this. 24 hours in a day, but the work day is eight hours. Right. But the bills is 24 hours, right? Right. Yeah. So who in the fuck is doing the other 14 hours? That's how the big man stays the big man. Right. There you go. That was the first Pretty part. simple. Right. So with that being said, we've had, we've had nothing but a lot of fun also today as well. That's Yesterday fun. Every day. too. Yeah. Every day. So not only are we uh, making money and apparently ruining a lot of people's <clears throat> pride here in the town of Clarksville, we are um, also kind of taking names and kicking ass. What's the saying there? How do you say that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> kick, taking names and kicking ass, right? <laughs> Something kicking like ass that. Taking names, whatever. <laughs> kicking ass, and and taking, taking names and kicking ass. Don't, don't fuck up. Ass, don't don't, don't fuck up a good saying. <laughs> yeah, because if we just fucked it up, I think you. Yeah. Know, I think you know what I meant. Anyways, we have our fourth. Our fourth guest, right next to me. Currently he needs right no now, introduction. In the shadows. I don't even think I could introduce, introduct him. Introduce. If you no do, way. if you don't know him, just get off your feed right now. Right, right. Just turn it the fuck off. Mr. Clean Rock, could you please come sit next to me so we can let these people know something? Yeah. <laughs> fuck oh, yes. And he's, what up? What up? What up? And he's actually only getting on here to do karaoke with us, so. Please don't expect us to Blame talk about anything. Ooh, <laughs> I showed up in booze. Ruined blind to fear. Last one to know. <laughs> last one to show I was the last one. You guys didn't know I like to sing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I, I hey, gathered Hey, I want to just point out really quickly that Clean Rock One is rocking the new f- clean as fuck hat. Yeah, I got uh, I, that was a gift from uh, from you. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking nice, right? That. So I don't right? Know if you guys noticed so, from yeah. you. Yep. So we we're, got. Uh, we're live on my Instagram too. What's, I don't have one. They didn't get me one. What's up, rock fans? We're on the podcast right now. Yeah. Uh, for, for the, the record. record. <laughs> so I can't really. Read any, I can't read. I can't read any of those comments. So I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> you know what's funny is I had to double check to see if I could go live. Because I tried to go live like a couple of days ago and they banned me. <laughs> what they banned you for? Yeah, what they banned you for? <laughs> Some of that stuff you know, talks about. Uh, uh, people get sensitive and they're sensitive and and uh, <laughs> sometimes their feelings don't concern me. Because you're not that sensitive. No, I am. I'm, oh. I am. I am, but I don't. It's you know, whatever. You know right. What I mean? It's like. So oh, gonna well. keep living. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. You know. Have you lost any sleep over it? Uh, no. 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 Didn't think so. Zero. Zero sleep. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, a lot of people are, are questioning, and they have been questioning uh, clean for months, yeah. uh, that you were even coming to Clarksville to Love Blood Ink Tattoo. Yeah, and yeah, every, it's, really, it's a really nice shop. It's beautiful. Every 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 tattoo shop in town, and every Record. every person in town is like, fucking Dizzy doesn't know Clean Rock. He ain't coming to fucking Clarksville. Yeah, we met at the Nashville convention. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Clean Rock Bowie actually actually loves uh, Nature's Beast, the uh, tattoo aftercare that I uh, created about yep. six yeah, you years turn, ago. You turn turn me on to it, and uh, I'm not supposed to hold main caps down with it though. I found that out. <laughs> Hurt my fucking I, soul. I was like, <laughs> shit. He was in the shop earlier today, and he said, <laughs> No. Don't. Hold your ink caps down <laughs> with nature's beast, and I looked at him like, "Why do you? Why did you just say that?" He hey, if you're if you're buying it, you can do whatever you want with it. If it's yours, true. Feel if you're buying true. it, if, if, if you if you if you have watched the process in which this is fucking made, <laughs> no, Disney's <Disney's laughs> You'd want to take it out <laughs> with a golden tongue depressor this. and lightly <laughs> spread it across. <laughs> there, you, your there you go. This is a non-paid commercial. This has been a non-paid commercial for nature's beast. This self plug. Yeah, it cures cancer. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. No. actually, I, I didn't. It, uh, he was lying. Didn't it? Uh, <laughs> it, it stopped starvation. It 
did it. Didn't. I mean, it's organic. You can eat it. it yes. I, I have, yeah, you know, you Debbie. It. Where the fuck is Debbie? Man, I miss <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, if you're out there. It's nice. I mean, it really is nice stuff, you know? It's good. I, 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 a lot of, I think a lot of people just are afraid to try something new because they've been yeah. duped so many times. Well, you, you know, and just to, just to jump in on that, um, I, I get people throwing me stuff every day. Like every day I get some other goop brand that's I'm like, sure. hey, my goopy's better than this goopy and goopy, goopy, goopy. And everybody's like, hey, check out this goop. Hey, look at this goop. Hey, this goop, you know, you could fucking, you know, goop this and goop that. So I'm like, I'm like, dude, you know, so, uh, no, but it's, it is, it's really nice. Um, my, and, and honestly, I've never had, uh, any, any issues, uh, I, all those little sticks mm. that, uh, you know, you, you gave me, I gave them all out and literally like all my guys at the shop, you know, I got friends that are, you know, like, yeah, my old lady found that and she fucking digs it, you know, and she's putting on her lips and shit. I'm like, yeah, cool. You can. Yeah, I know. You can do that. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it's great, you know, and it's good to hear good feedback because, you know, I haven't heard any bad feedback, so it's, it's cool. I haven't, so ha- I haven't heard so any, good. I haven't heard any bad yeah. feedback either. No, it's great, because, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a couple other brands out there that are like, no, yeah, that stuff's great, er, but, er, you know, so no, it's, it's been good. Yeah, and, and, I, th- and, and I think what's cool about it, too, is like, we're not pushing it on people, honestly. I had it in-house here for six years, and I only sold it to my clients um, through here, and then somebody just hit me up one day, and honestly, just talked me into, like, hey, you should, like, should let, like share this with as many people as you can because it's a really good product. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, we sell it at the shop down at uh, Golden Skull Tattoo. Um, Las Vegas. It's yeah, it's cool. Golden yeah. Skull Tattoo, Las if Vegas. Skull if, if anybody's uh, interested in Nature's Beast Tattoo, uh, you know, total total product line, uh, you can go to Nature's Beast Tattoo Care uh, You can hit up Clean. You can hit up Mike at Signature. Um, the, the supplier. A lot of people. A lot of <laughs> Allegedly. people. Allegedly. Are, um, Allegedly. <laughs> are, are honestly, and, and what's really cool about this product uh, is that it's it's ta- it's really touching and getting in the hands of like A-list tattooers, like really high end caliber tattooers who know what they're doing and they know what's good, they know what works, mm-hmm. and. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's, it's really right off the bat. They really just enjoy it. So. Honestly, on the subject line of like A-list big tattooers, clean, I have, I have questions for you. Oh. You ready? Who, the, who I know that's A-list? No, no, no. Oh, no, I, got no. Some, I got some friends that are A-list as not hell. not the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're like the best. I'm like, holy shit. Like, I can't even believe I'm like, they're like the tattoos. Some of their tattoos are so amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, who, do you think, who, do you, who, do, who do you think? Who, who do I think? Like every time I see a tattoo, who's I, your favorite? Who like yeah. if you could well, pick one okay. person? Okay, there's 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 a difference between favorite and what I think is amazing because favorite would be like stuff that like I would get tattooed myself. Right, right, right. Right. Wow factor. Which, yeah. which, What's the wow factor? Which to which to most people they'd be like, what the hell? That sucks. You know, they're like, like that dude sucks. You know, but I'm like, no, I love his art. I love his yeah. art. I'd love right. to look at it every day. Right. But then there's there's uh, there's other people that are doing stuff um, that I every time I see a post, I'm just like, holy shit, Jesus. Right. Um, yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of people like for instance like Ryan Ashley. Um, I, I can't believe some of the stuff that she does. It is very talented. It is super talented. Insane yeah. the 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 amount of intricacy. It is such small little details. Like I literally look at it and I'm just like, what? Like holy. her black and gray. It yeah. is Whew. absolutely like like she definitely. Ryan, if you watch it. It is holler at us. Come down here and do a <laughs> guest spot. It's pretty. It's pretty we awesome. It's pretty impressive. You know. So like. Um, her tattoos are great, but then, you know, like there's guys like, um, uh, you know, some like my, my, my homeboys that are, are tattooers that I, I like their tattoos more than I like anybody mm-hmm. else's tattoos. And, you know, they're, they're fucking, they're great because I like the art, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's kind of like one of those deals where, uh, uh, you know, some people like blue houses and some people like, you know, trailer houses and some people like mansions and some people like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a big spectrum. So like when I, when I tell people, when people ask me like, who's the best tattooer? I'm like, 
Oh, at what? Yeah. You know, like I, there's right. a guy that does uh, portraits, black and gray portraits. That uh, what's his name? David Varga or Vargas? Uh, Vargas. Vargas. Oh, yeah. Vargas. I mean, I've yeah, I've Vargas. never seen. Yeah. I mean, I I've still yet yeah, have, have seen like black and gray that is is that good i mean god dang i mean that guy's portraits are amazing well then you got people like victor portugal that's been around for 10 15 yeah. years that is amazing but you never hear of yeah mm -hmm. you know you, you like he's not in the mainstream no for sure and and that's and that's it you know there's there's so many great tattooers out there uh, that don't need notoriety right yeah with, right. you know um and you know what let's get back to the notoriety um it's funny because I, this topic keeps coming up on my end. Um, people keep telling me, they're like, oh, yeah, Ink Master made your career. And I'm like, no, man, if anything, it ruined my career. <laughs> um, it made you a better tattooer? Yes it, did, no? it did make me a better tattooer because um, I was definitely uh, plateaued and kind of over it and just kind of like, eh, whatever. Yeah. And once I got on there, I was like, you know, I, cause I'd been out of the scene for a while because I wasn't really pushing and I wasn't really grinding. I was just doing, I was one of those worker bees that went to work, did some tattoos, went home, went to work, did some tattoos, went home, went to work. You know, I, I wasn't doing guest spots. I wasn't really, I didn't really care about what was new and big and going on in tattooing. I just did what my clients wanted and that was nice tattoos to my, the best of my abilities. Uh, but then when I went on the actual TV show, you know, there I start. I was like, "Whoa! All right, I need to be on my toes because there's some amazing there's talent some, out there." Yeah, the first season you was on, there was some yeah. fucking talent. Yeah, there. so there's some 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 really good talented people. Uh, even season uh, seven, when I came back, you know, um, I went. I mean, I only went back on season seven because I just needed money. And I just needed a job. I fucking love this guy. And I <laughs> I literally like. You know, I tell That's the story, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I didn't go back Anything. for any other reason other than they were going to give me $1,500 a week. That Amen. was, there was no other reason why Fuck, I was like, a solid paycheck. I'm like, I need fucking Amen. money because yeah. after I lost on season, um, five, my books just dropped. I went from being booked for months and months and months to literally like, I'm the biggest loser in America. Lost and now I, you know, I, I, there's a misconception that if you go on Ink Master, you're just going to be a fucking like some rock star. The thing is, is it can ruin your career, it could be detrimental, or it could, it could help your career. Yeah, right? I, I don't see any downfalls, but I feel like it just took a, I will say that it made my whole entire clientele shift. Mm. Yeah, I went from uh, I went from tattooing like tattooed enthusiasts who are like in that scene, you know, mm -hmm. like like, you know, the whole people that are like heavily tattooed and getting heavily tattooed and collectors, you know, right. to um, those. That was my clientele. A lot of other tattooers and whatnot uh, to, um, you know, soccer moms that no, don't have any tattoos, but they saw me on Ink Master Fan chasers. and now they. Yeah they think I'm the best thing they've ever seen on TV. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, do you not have the internet? Like there's some good ass tattooers, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but then, then it goes back to, you know, there's people, I hear it every day. People say that I'm the best tattooer they've ever seen. And I'm like, do you not have like a phone or, <laughs> you know, like, and it, like just Google good tattoos and you will see some crap that will blow your mind. Yeah. But then again, some people like blue, some people like green. But, and the, then, but the thing that captured my attention Clean about you in specific on the show that stood out to me was your perseverance and, and your fight, right? It was like uh, you weren't giving up. And no. every time you came back, you were a little bit better. Yeah, I, I really did. You know, once I got off the first season, um, it, it bummed me out that I didn't win. Um, and then I, I went back and I was like, well, damn, now I, you know, I, I st was like, fuck, I need to make some changes in my game, you know? Uh, then when I went back on season seven, um, literally I was just like, you know, I just needed to work. I just needed money. I had bills to pay. I would like, you know, I just needed money. So I was like, shit, I got to do some shit. So I really started bumping up my art more and doing more art and doing right. more, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I, I got to do this flash and I got to, I just got to be a better artist. I just got to do better. I just got to mm -hmm. do and everything I do. So then, uh, I think the yeah. show, I think the show really kicked you in the ass because I had been following you before the show because you were really known in Vegas and I was living in Vegas. Um, and I was getting tattooed at a couple of shops at bad apple diversity, you know, those, those type shops, um, kind of like, I don't know if I would say mom and pop shops, but not really big 
famous shops or you know just whatever run of the mill and uh you were known for like this big hot roddy full color like in your face you know like it stood out right like, yeah but then when you went on ink master the first season and you started to see this transition is like this almost like a an evolution of like some new stuff coming out of you and in season seven i was like fuck this ain't even the same fucking guy it was tattooing well but but, he, but but here's the thing um I've been a street shop tattooer my whole career. Right. Like I've been, I've worked in street shops and, and, and pretty much, you know, anything that comes to the door, uh, shops for a long time, you know, like I own my own shop, uh, top notch tattoos in Elgin, Illinois. And you know, when you're the boss and you need to pay the rent and your guys are, are, you know, they're all, you know, too good or too lazy and, whatnot and you're not doing anything and you're like i don't care what it is uh, you know like yeah. i did those things so yeah. there's um there's a lot of things like you know i did black and gray for years and years and years before i learned how to actually do the new school color stuff mm -hmm. and a lot of people you know the tv show i say a lot of things on the tv show that aren't isn't true i say a lot of things on there that is just bullshit and it's just tv i'm acting i'm an actor yeah. so you know like i'm like i don't even do black and gray i don't even know how to do you know this. I don't know. Like, really, those that's are, what you learned. <laughs> those are just um, those are just ad libs. Ad libs me me just yeah. talking shit to talk right. shit. So I always say everything I've said on TV. Don't believe ratings. Any of it. You know, maybe maybe ten percent of of the things I said on TV are are, are probably true to my heart. Um, there's a lot of things that I said just to make great TV. And that's what I, I had a job and my job was to make great TV. And that's why I kept going back. And that's why they asked me back so many times is I was there to make great TV. Oh, and that's what I tried to one do. Person, you're definitely one of the people who stood out the most. I've uh, been entertained since. Absolutely. Thursday. I think you, <laughs> you, you and Christian Buckingham in particular, your fodder, your banter, your, your, that, that fucking dynamic that was on the show. Dude, that was great. Yeah. Because I stopped watching for like three seasons. Yeah. Cause I was like, man, it's turned into bullshit. And then yeah. when you guys got together, I was like, fuck, it's a new, new ball game. Yeah, and, that, uh, and that's the thing, you know, uh, me and Christian are homeboys, and, and I feel like it was so good because we were bros. Mm -hmm. Like, can you imagine just if I really had a, a, a beef with that person being on TV? It would just be chaos. It would just, the whole time it would just be beep, 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 beep. Yeah. And, then it, and then it would, and, and no then one's sleeping. And, <laughs> no, and, and it would literally no just be like sleep. the worst TV ever because right. we, yeah, we would be, be like the fist real world. fighting. Yeah. And it would be the real world. Right? Yeah, and it, it just wouldn't be, I, <laughs> me personally, show? I just oh, yeah. think it would be terrible fighting because, fucking. You know, yeah, I'd, I would yeah. rather, I'd rather sit here and like, hey, if we're going to fight, let's fight. Like, okay. Um, and then what, you're just going to watch fucking, you know, me holding ice on my head and, you know, getting, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to, well, it's been fun yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah like um, I yeah. have it, a concussion now. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a totally different deal. So it, I don't think, I don't think it would have been great TV, you know, if we no. actually like really did have beef. I don't, it, I think it would be terrible. I think that there was some people on the show that definitely had some real beef. For sure. There was some fucking people on that show. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's like a few. Thin skinned sure. and didn't belong there. Thin skinned. And just. Well, you know, that's it. if that's you it. take yeah. that many grown adults <laughs> and different personalities and, and put them in one and put them in one <clears throat> space and you have to live with those people. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's I do it every day. It's it's hard to uh, yeah. it's 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 hurting cats, man. I you was know? just going to say yeah, it's, it's like hurting cats. It's like it. really hard to yeah. to get every single, per you know, I'm so easy going like I'm like. I, I can entertain myself, you know what I mean? I'm so yeah. easy. So I feel like I, I do well in that kind of environment. Situation, right. Because I'm like, okay, uh, this guy, you know, don't, he's a weirdo. This guy's a weirdo. That chick's a weirdo. But, okay, he's cool. These cool. These, he's not. You know, you, like I can bob and weave really easily on my own and, and make a situation doable. Yeah. Where sure. some people don't have that skill to where they're sure. just like, they're like, this guy's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's a survival street skill, man. That's yeah. like, that's like something, yeah. you know, you, you, you either grow up a survivor grow or you up. grow up, you know, something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So grow the fuck For up. For sure. Grow up. Grow up. That's fuck my grow favorite up. saying yeah. on the grow show. Fuck up. I tell people to grow up. Every grow day. up. Just grow up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, so, you know, so anyway, uh, anybody that's watching, y'all thought I was full shit and, you know, <laughs> 
You, you, everybody that we weren't lying. Everybody that talks about this place. Could you imagine if we came up with an entire plot scheme to right. tell people Clean right. Rock was coming? Right. And then the day of, it's just like, oh, now we just got this dude in a beard. They're like, who's this homeless guy? This guy is not. Hey, uh, I picked. I picked him up at the airport. Hey, uh, <laughs> I bought him a fucking Happy Meal. He said he'd play Clean Rock for the weekend. I said, fucking, let's go. And let's he go. really looks like him. Acts like him. Yep. He did a couple of tattoos. Yeah, Felt like not him. Bad, not, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. One of these days, I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hang in there, son. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I've been practicing I'm for trying. my whole life. Uh, well, the truth is, though, is that um, I had this idea, right, because uh, we're in a military town, and I'm retired military, and uh, I do a lot for the community. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, you absolutely, it? absolutely. And um, I thought it would be so cool to offer these soldiers and their spouses something that they can just not get anywhere else, right? Mm -hmm. right? So, you know, you got the tattoo studio booming, banging. You got the barber shop. It's fucking off the chain, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, what can I do to even outdo myself? <laughs> Literally, I feel so, like you said these words so, to you. Yeah, so I said, so I said <laughs> self, <laughs> let's reach out. Let's reach out through, through one of our plugs or through one of our outlets, and let's... Uh, Fuck, let's let's get let's get somebody him. down here that that you know these soldiers could probably never get in with or um, never have the opportunity uh, to even meet the guy. You know, he's a fucking cool guy. Tattoos a bonus, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The friendship, right? Yeah. That's oh, priceless, yeah. right? right? Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, th this guy's so humble. Very unique. So humble uh, and so unique, like you said, and just laid back. Yeah. I wanted to bring him to Clarksville, to Fort Campbell, to the 101st you know, Airborne Division, right? These soldiers, deployment hub for the military. These soldiers sacrifice life and limb to protect yeah. the freedoms of this country, as I did when I was a soldier, right? Yeah. And I said, man, it'd be so fucking cool to have Clean Rock come down here and, and fucking kick something off that maybe will catch some momentum, right? And we could start a thing. A thing. And that thing We're would be, a thing. right? That thing would be that Clean Rock would have such a good time and think we He'll were never awesome, leave. right? <laughs> that he would tell a bunch of his him. buddies that were dope as shit that, hey, man, you he should go there and now. check out Dizzy, man, right? <laughs> but, but in real honesty, real talk, everybody listening, Clean Rock could come back every weekend if he wanted to. He, I mean, if there's a lot of girls that want to hang out every weekend, I could be here. Yeah. See? I see? know that's see? not like, true. If there's, if there's Clean, Rock is, true. Clean Rock is an equal opportunity employer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if there so, is uh, just, yeah. a, if there's a pretty girl in a cowboy hat, boy, I'm fucking. <laughs> oh, man, dude. You know what? Yeah. We could find we're, a lot we're, of them. Hey, we're getting I off think. track just a little bit. Way right. too off many track. of them. I'm trying to get on track. <laughs> that, was, that was very on brand. I'm trying to get a place to stay, bro. <laughs> just so happens. No, let me not. <laughs> so, so if the uh, hotels are booked up. Just get on Tinder and just start swiping. <laughs> Absolutely. Can if, I stay at your house? Thank you. If anybody, uh, if anybody out there is interested yeah. in coming down tomorrow, <laughs> Clean Rock will be here tomorrow. He'll be here Sunday. Yeah. Come yep. down. Hey, come down. And shake the guy. So tomorrow is actually Need supposed them. to be yeah, an right. actual party. Tomorrow We're, is. A party. We are actually partying well, tomorrow. Every day is a party, but tomorrow is like a but fucking tomorrow's, bash. But tomorrow is. We we've dubbed it the party. Well, yeah, it's the party. It wasn't a pop up party. Let this one was planned. Let me tell you what I did. Yeah. I did a thing. You did You did uh -huh. another thing. I did a he thing. He keeps doing the things. I said, well, I'm the only tattoo barbershop in the eastern seaboard. <laughs> you right? I said, what if we, what if we. <laughs> what if we. I like coffee. You like coffee much? I love coffee. Clean, you like coffee? I can't get enough. What's, <laughs> if you could put two things together, like peanut butter and jelly and together, <laughs> coffee, and what would make coffee just... The fucking best coffee ever. Can I say it? Boobs. Boobs. Yeah, it was boobs. Right. Boobs was the so answer for me. So if you could get me. a pretty face and some boobies to serve you coffee, right? And it's good coffee. Yeah. Right? Amen, So I said, I said to myself, I said, self. <laughs> Again. <laughs> let's I... fucking open up a fucking bikini barista in the tattoo shop. Yeah, in the Bible belt. That was... Right, bang. That was well, really hey, a ballsy so move. So anybody who sure. thinks you're going to call anybody on me, I read the fucking laws and bylaws. And yeah, we've been checked. I called the fucking mayor. I wrote the congressman. And here's the only stipulation about having a barista in a tattoo studio, right? Is food handling and prep is you're not allowed to have exposed genitalia near the food. That's, there's that. So unless, you're, unless you're a Democrat. Unless. unless you're a Democrat. Yeah. 
If you're a Democrat, <laughs> yeah, if you're, you should yeah. shove the food up your ass. Yeah. yeah. Beep, beep, bleep, 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 <laughs> Nickelodeon. Okay. So, tomorrow is the grand opening, grand opening, right, of the Nate Latte right here behind us. Nate Latte. Nate Latte. Right? Nate Latte. And, uh, latte. You got to say it and, too, Mike. Hey, Nate Latte. Nate. Clean. Latte. Are you, German? Are you German, right? Yeah. Okay. You're German? So you know think. that Latte in German means boner. Did you know that? I mean, learn something new every day. <laughs> I mean, a German lady told me that. Whoa! <laughs> so right. it's a naughty boner. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna grand open the first ever in in Clarksville history from here to Washington State bikini barista. Yes. We're gonna make tomorrow. history tomorrow at 10 a.m. History. We got a really Pay cool. Attention. The first tattoo. Barbershop, Bikini Barista in America. In America. America. Cool. We should call the Guinness Book of World Records, it turns America. out. America. Maybe we could do that. Could we? I think. We couldn't even get the fucking newspaper down here. <laughs> really? You're going to well, get Guinness he, down here? They got scared. You could probably call Hustler and get him down here. Get Hustler right. down yeah. here. We, just, we, we didn't reach <laughs> out to the Larry, right Larry newspaper. Larry smut peddler. Larry Flint still <laughs> Yeah. Z97.5, if you're listening. Get smut peddler um, magazine down here for a write-up. Yeah. <laughs> I think we could definitely put an article in Hustler. Hey, in Vegas on the board, definitely. Five, smut dealers. Yeah. These smut cards. Yeah. They fucking. What's a smut? Smut cards. Yeah, it's like, a, like a, They got these little baseball cards yeah, that have. It says like, it'll say like Bambi, and it'll have oh, a picture like with of a the girl. girls. Yeah. yeah. I've smut. seen those. Yeah. Girl, in Vegas, girls it turns direct. out. Smut hustlers. Last yeah. time I was in Vegas. <laughs> Yep, blur. Huh? Like, yeah, not a lot. Supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think I made a corn husk doll like on Fremont Street. Where'd like, you get a corn husk from? So this dude was you making corn, corn husk things, and I was like, "Do you corn's mind not, if I?" Corn's not big in Vegas. He was smoking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why. Maybe it was palm leaves. <laughs> yeah, palm leaf. Yeah, it was palm leaf. It was a palm leaf. I was gonna say. Okay, maybe in Illinois, I'd believe you, but in. Vegas, uh, eh. Nebraska, maybe. Yeah, I don't it know. was a leaf. It was a leaf of sorts. And it there, was a there palm I was. tree. They're everywhere. Yep, there I yes. was, palm tree it up mm. with yeah, some random definitely stranger. Not corn, not, definitely not a corn. Star. Corn husk. No. So <laughs> if, uh, if you're in the area tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, come on down, get some coffee. All you really yeah. have to do is hit the hundred and first, and it's the biggest sign. Yeah, you can't that miss spells that. Spells out the word tattoo. Uh, is there like a uh, secret promo code? That you need to know about or anything? Yes. Like, give me a double extra, extra yes. shot. There, mm -hmm. there, there is a secret menu, all right? And I'm going to, I'm going to, it's a spoiler if you're paying attention. Secret listen, menu coming up. up. Secret. Secret menu. Be rude. <laughs> Be rude. There's a, uh, two cold drinks. Mm. One of them is called the Fuzzy Navel. Yes. Right? The other one's <laughs> called the Dirty Dizzy. Good advertisement. Dirty yeah. dizzy. Who, right? Killing who wants, it. Who wants a fuzzy nasal? Who wants a fuzzy nasal? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want a fuzzy so nasal. That's like, like wait there's, a a, there's a fuzzy nasal. Wait a minute. My nasal's kind of fuzzy. I do. Peach too. snobs. I'm just going to keep it real with yeah. you. 100%. In the mid to late 80s. <laughs> yes. It was a shot. Yes, it was. It was called a fuzzy nasal. Yes. Was. That's right. It was. Peach snobs. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Not as good as a buttery nipple. So does it have liquor in it? No. 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 Dirty okay. Dizzy. All I'm mocktails. Not gonna, I'm not going to tell you what's in All it. All mocktails. Come down and order a Dirty Dizzy uh, tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what's in it. Sounded uh, very terrifying. Mm, <laughs> mm. I'm not going to tell you. What's How in many it. calories does this have? Yeah, <laughs> we can't tell you. We can't count. We calories. we actually won't we tell you. Just come calories. party. Fuck uh, calories. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them. But we start um, that tomorrow. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And we are going to go until we're out of food. The party right? ends. Yeah. Done. What kind of food are we going to have? Ooh. All kinds of food. We're going to have meat. Yes. Meat. Oh, yep. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring some meat just for you. I need some eggs. I haven't had any oh, eggs. Oh, he some needs eggs. eggs. Anybody out there got Siri, eggs? Siri, remind me Will to bring, bring eggs for Clean, clean Rock tomorrow. tomorrow? Please. <laughs> The man needs eggs. I mean, I literally. You say that, and then we're gonna have. I literally will crack them in a cup hey, and just drink. You know what? Them. You know what I was just thinking about. What just hit me in my brain? Did you see the uh, Dana? Uh, what, what's the What's the UFC guy? Dana. Yeah, Dana yeah White. Did you see him walk off Howie Mandel's fucking podcast? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you no. see that? Should I do that? Huh? You better don't do that. <laughs> I will listen, be so personally listen, let me offended. Recap really quick. Let me I recap really quick. Howie Mandel is fucking literally blowing Dana. Yeah. White. Up. Yeah, yeah. Like. 
praising him. Yeah, I saw it. And Dana White goes like this. He goes, he's like, I'm so sick of fucking. I'm so sick of fucking podcast. And he walks out. And Howie Mandel's looking like this. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I wonder if, I, I wonder if, like, okay, for instance, let's let's, let's, yeah. let's let's put yourself in uh, in uh, Dana White's shoes. The guy, he doesn't need the publicity. He doesn't. No. He doesn't need the uh, the advertisement. No. Oh, he I get what you're saying. Okay. He doesn't need any of that. So for him to go on a podcast, he's he like, better be getting paid. Yeah, he's like Howie doing wasn't you clout chasing. Howie doesn't that need point. the clout chase. Howie, yeah. Howie's got the same fame and money. But that's what I'm saying. So like, he was. I'm. I'm assuming. Okay, I'll go on a podcast, and you know, the guy sat there and blew him for a minute, and then he was just like, <laughs> "Dude, I'm just over this. Give me a break." Like maybe, oh, he, you maybe think he, you think he overpoured it on. Yeah, I think maybe he probably yeah. he probably he probably he, like, uh, he probably hammed it up and was like, uh, you know what, like thanks but no thanks. Because maybe 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 I'm just saying maybe maybe he saw his true colors before the cameras came on. Oh, oh. Shit. And then when he got gets on there, he're like, oh my god, I just want to say so you're so you're awesome. Here. Yeah, yeah. When he was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. How he kind of looks like he that. would like, be a sideways guy like, like that. Like, you're just literally yeah. telling me how you're going to kick yeah, this homeless yeah. guy in the face on the right, way in right. today. You know what I mean? But now shit. you're yeah, a saint. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Yeah. maybe he, maybe it was, uh, maybe it's just, it was that fake. That shit broke the internet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine yeah, it did. Dana White. It probably broke <laughs> how he's heart, too. Stood, oh, no, he was heart broke. <laughs> yeah, because he was no. speechless. <laughs> yeah. And he looked over at his fucking assistant. She's just shuffling papers. I can't believe Clean said he was going to do it to me. He wouldn't do it. He he wouldn't do it. Yeah. No, I was uh, that was needs, actually going to be one of my. He still needs a ride. One of my things <laughs> that I was going to say is that it's it's actually been such a pleasure to like meet you. So I I met you in Nashville, obviously too, because you know I had to dance around you with the camera. As a camera person, I was literally so nervous to do that, only because I was like, "Fuck!" How, like how many people? Are like clean rock. Let me film you, and I'm like, this is just my job. All day, <laughs> like, and all day. Please don't be. And I, and I say, and I so say it nice. all. The, and I say it all the time. Like I, I will, I will always try to give fans yes a, a, a little piece. Also, because very how many, honest. how many people have you met? And I'm not saying I'm a celebrity. By all means, I'm not. If anything, I'm a I'm fucking saying you're a I'm celebrity. A fucking e-list celebrity. Like I'm, I'm nobody. I'm a dude that's on TV. But like, how many, how many people have that story of, oh, I met, uh, you know, Joe Blow. He was such an asshole. Okay, you know how I am. You see how I am. Sure. Yeah. I try to be as nice and as genuine Consistent. and as funny, yeah. and yeah. I try to fucking be cool to everybody. What you see is what you get. And yeah. I still get called an asshole. Of yeah. course. So it's like, I, I never want to be that dude. Like, like. I always, if somebody asks for a picture, I always try to give them a picture. If somebody mm -hmm. asks for an autograph, yeah, why, why would I not? Right. Is, is the bigger question. Well, like it's not going to hurt you. No, well, because you it, because it takes just as much time to be an asshole, yep. and it takes just as much time to be nice. You hear that? It, takes, it actually takes more effort. It to takes be an more asshole. actual muscles to frown yeah. than it does to smile, buddy. You, you got to understand that you have pew, got, pew, to, pew. You've got to embrace um, the, the notoriety and a, and a, and a little bit of, you know, famous you know kind of aspect of it but at the same time you're not losing yourself in it you're still you i you love know, that that is love that, that has been my most yeah. my most I'm favorite still, part I'm still about broke. meeting you i'm i'm like you? still broke I'm, oh. like um if i wasn't uh if i wasn't broke maybe it, i want to start a GoFundMe. i was i feel like we like, could we could gather this like, up like somebody it, go like fund it, clean if, rock if it was <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like help him. I, I say it all the time. I never wanted the title of Ink Master. I just wanted the money. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Like literally, right, I'm right, like, right. I don't want the title. The belt can fucking sit in the imagine. There isn't even a belt. He's been like, telling me I could tattoo like, all day. At this point, I think maybe I should. I go literally just needed the money. The Ink Masters. <laughs> You know, and I got to tell you that um, America needs more people just being real fucking Man. honest about don't our they? intentions. Don't they? We need to be more oh, honest boy, about does it hurt people's what feelings, we're doing. Though. What do you think that I'm here in Clarksville doing this because I just think it's cool well, to yeah. not sleep or eat <laughs> yeah. and be stressed out and have three marriages <laughs> under my belt? Like, kind of like when we talked about payday and how fun it is for us and not you. Not for me. Yeah, right? not for him. I'm like, yeah. I He's go through like, the numbers every week, yeah. right? Just yeah. so everybody, and, and since everybody on Facebook chat wanted to get into my fucking finances, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> Um, if I don't do double my salary in tattoo work weekly, I don't take a check. 
And you know what I did this week? I gave this man my station. I gave him my station because I, I, I wanted him to, to be able to tattoo some soldiers. And he I haven't back. tattooed anybody. You're not in the military, are you? No, but you're du- your dude. Yeah. yeah. I'll say I haven't, tattooed, I haven't tattooed anybody that hasn't been in the military. But he fired mm-hmm. back at me and he said, hey, tomorrow I'm doing walk-ins all day. I have no appointments. I'm going to do walk-ins all day. First come, first serve. And it's I really got fucking my hopes 12, up 15. for that. 1215. He still has one more tattoo to do. There's still <laughs> tattoos like, going if he's on. Doing currently at Love Blood Ink Tattoo. And he still hasn't drawn his pictures. And he's got a draw. Yeah, I got he, he draws two pictures. He draw Oh, you didn't draw last night? I did draw it. I fell asleep <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> Halfway through it, I was like this. Did you do hey, did you do Soldier Memorial? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So I, I drew it, it's sketched in there, but yeah, I just cool. didn't finalize it that's like right. i and normally that's your, do that's cool. and so and are you are you talking about your your journal drawing yes. yes so because yeah. that's your new that was your new year's resolution to yes. draw to draw one instead of i just have to draw one thing one every day, day and it is so hard mm-hmm. i it love is, that but okay Discipline. it's it wouldn't be hard if i was doing the run-of-the-mill tattoo stuff like i've been doing my whole career day, right? i could draw skulls, roses yeah. i could draw skulls i could draw fucking heart and daggers I could draw snakes. I could draw panthers. I could draw mom hearts. I could draw all the all the tigers, and I could do all of that. But I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm trying to focus on things that I don't really ever draw. Yeah, um, I noticed that. But it's and, the perspective in which you're drawing it in. Yeah, which really caught my eye. Me yeah. too. Mm-hmm. That took thought and time. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of like leaking into your oh, brain. Yeah. I was like, "What was that motherfucker thinking yeah. when he drew this hot dog?" Yeah, because I. <laughs> that's my favorite. Yeah. I, I was like, Scott "Where did dog. this hot dog come yeah. from?" And well, from the what? hot the hot dog came about because we literally I started this carnivore diet and I <laughs> yes. seriously wanted the hot dog so bad, and I went down to this hot dog shop. Uh, where they had like uh, you know meats, and I was like, "Just give me a plate of meats," and I'm like, oh, "I just want a hot dog so bad. I just want, I just want, real I just want a Chicago dog more than anything." <laughs> and I didn't eat it, so I was just like, Ugh, "I got stuck with some mystery meat, some mystery street meat, and it was terrible." <laughs> It and uh, you should have just ate the yeah. fucking hot dog. I should have. Yeah. But so instead, I just went upstairs and I drew the hot dog. You know, if you ever watched how hot dogs are made, <laughs> yeah. Never instead of hot eating dog. a hot dog, did we catch that? He just drew the hot dog. Yeah. And so he drew that into his existence. He literally manifested yeah. the hot so, dog. It, you Perfect. Know, that. Uh, so not on, not only am I drawing the tattoos every day that I do tattoo, and then also drawing multiple sheets of flash also that are tattoo of stuff and yep. painting them and then i'm drawing my book and the book seems to be the hardest because it it's uh one it's it's a it's a mandatory thing i have to do it you have and to. I, sometimes i get home from work at two three in the morning after tattooing all day and then i'm like shit i still gotta fucking draw and then next thing you know i'm like i'll do something really fast and then i look and i'm like oh shit it's five o'clock in the morning and then i gotta go to bed so I, I draw till you know, and then I. So last night I got, I was up all day, all night. I pulled an all nighter and flew here. Got here right off the gate. As soon as I walked in the door, eleven o'clock, boom, started tattooing. Got home last night at what midnight? <laughs> midnight yeah. after not sleeping at all. Yep. And then I sat down. I started sketching. I got it all sketched out, and I literally fell asleep with a pencil in my hand and the book. And I'm like, and I woke up and I was like, oh, oh my god. Oh. And then I, you know, I put my book away so I wouldn't ruin it. And then I. Oh, Conked out and went to bed. The discipline and dedication is crazy. But you got to understand, Callie, listen, it's a lifestyle that we live. This is not. Yeah, I I, I love. The passion's not owning businesses. The passion is the tattooing. The passion is the art. I see it. I feel it. I felt it all day. The energy inside of Love Blood Inc. today was so crazy. Like, Uh, I feel like I, 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 I skyrocketed in each place. That I went into, so, Nate Latte, True Gentleman. Hey, the tattoo side's energy was so crazy. Yeah, I didn't even want to leave. I was like, I just want to hang and out with you guys all day. Listening right now, tattoo shops listening right now. Like a family. tattoo artist listening right now. Next Friday, when your shop is slow, come down. Just here come and feel hang the out with us. Yeah. Come feel the energy. It's honestly. Fun. Come on. Come on. Come down. We invite you to come have Absolutely, fun with us. Absolutely, man. This my door is open to everybody in town. That's an open door policy. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. Open door policy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I like the, I like the tattoo vibe, you know, when uh, like it's, it's crazy and and people don't get it. You know, it, the tattoo shop isn't just like your, uh, your nine to five job, you know, like it's, it's your, uh, like 
if you're if sanctuary. you're going to the shop and you're putting in your going in getting in and clocking in clocking like i can't go to the shop on my days off i can't like I if can't i have sh- if if i have to do sh- if, to like come here. if i have stuff to I do and i have errands to off. run and i have things to do i cannot go to the tattoo be shop all day. because i go down there and it's like you can't just rabbit hole. you can't just run in and grab like uh, oh i forgot my my whatever my phone charger you run in Bam! You're sitting there bullshitting with the guys. Yeah, yep. it, yep. it, it's door. just, it's just, <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate, dude. It's just, it's just a. Um, we'll it's take a, you there. It's just a fun place. Would you, you know? would you say honestly that the tattooer, the tattooer, right? That's been doing it 10, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. That's a, that's a dying art in itself. Would you say that that's that's a true statement? The new, the new age tattooers, nine to fivers, right? Yeah, I, I'd say, I'd say the newer guys definitely um, don't have the, the as much of a work ethic. Yeah. Um, the be, drive's not there because Discipline. they they treat it more as as a job or, you know, easy they, money. Yeah, they yeah. they show up or they'll or oh I don't have any appointments so I didn't come in today. So kind whatever, of thing. Right? right? I don't um, want to sit there and wait early. for one. Yeah, so I I I think yeah that's early shit. You know, I mean I got yeah. I got a guy that that uh, that's been tattooing you know twenty five plus years at at uh, Golden Skull, and that dude's there seven days a week. Uh, you know, he usually starts at about two o'clock. Because, honey bunny dude? You know, yeah, yeah, honey yeah. Honey yeah. <laughs> Justin, he, uh, that honey guy, honey. I don't think he's eating real food and, and like probably, like I took, him out, I took him out to a steak dinner the other night and he's like, man, this is the first meal I've had since like Thanksgiving 2012. <laughs> yeah. uh, what? Because like, yeah. honey buns what come 24 in a pack. Yeah, like. Honey like, buns? Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's the epitome of a fucking old school tattooer, man. I love the guy. He. <laughs> He shows up to work and he fucking he he fucking he's there. He puts That's in like he puts in the time, you know. But I also I do have a I have do I have a great crew. Like my my shop Chrome Gypsy, I got some guys there that they do put in a lot of work. Um, you know they Andrew that guy will show up, no appointments necessary. He'll show up all day. He'll be there all day. And then if he's not uh, if he's you know if he's not tattooing, he's drawing flash. Every piece of sheet or every sheet of flash and. Chrome Gypsy is hand painted. There isn't, you know, there isn't any flash. It's, I love that. It's it's love an old that. school tattoo shop. So I do love paying attention to the Golden Skull and Chrome Gypsy's mm-hmm. social medias. I'm always interested to yeah, see. Yeah, Toby's what been you guys got Toby's going been uh, doing some cool videos and hey, stuff. Is Toby, yeah. is Toby listening? Hey, Toby. I don't know. Toby, why are you ghost us, bro? Yeah, we could uh, we could be friends, social media man. friends. I don't know if he's even on there. Is that thing still going? Yeah. I don't know. It's live until we say I see not. a red. I haven't seen it move. Live till we say it's not. In a lot in a I hot minute. S- oh, there it goes. There it oh. goes. Give me some give me some uh some hearts. Yeah, Show do me some hearts. Do, do, Come do on. the things. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Get the hearts. Do, get the hearts. Do the things. Hey, give us a, give us a, Come on. Get the hearts. Let us know you're there. How do you do it like this? Mm. Where's the hearts? Give us a song to sing. There it is. There it is. There it is. There see him? There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. I fuck with the hearts. You feel the love tonight. How many Facebook followers we got? Four? <laughs> <laughs> one of them. We your, got five. One of them. Go your to wife. bed. One of, yeah, one of them's your <laughs> wife. <laughs> bed. Go to fucking bed. <laughs> and your mom. Clean rock. We got a hundred thousand. Yeah. Let's be honest. My Instagram. mom's really happy about we this. We got right five now. people in Clarksville. She's like, tell Clean to Rock I'm bed. a really big fan. I'm like, mom. It's the one. I'll it's, tell him. It's my one appointment. Like, man, they're showing up ready for tomorrow. Like, oh man. Oh, <laughs> he's guy, still up. Is this guy gonna get some sleep tonight? Hey, this lady's nope. been so patient. She's been waiting here. Yeah, I feel like she's a part of our I, podcast I, I, I right now. Thought, at this I point, I almost thought we hired somebody new, and she's yeah. not fucking. We're paying payroll. her. And I was like, <laughs> we hadn't met. Like, what's your name? What are you doing? Yeah. Are you for the barista? Are you the are you new management? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. You're a barber? What's happening? I've, oh. done, I've done that a few times. Hey, I have 50, show up to the shop, hey. and I'm like, who the hell are you? They're like, uh, 50, I'm, 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 here. I'm the new guy. I'm like, when did you start? Damn. They're like, 52 uh, people last week. Here. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> That's not counting My bad. <laughs> That's not counting painters, electricians, plumbers, production guys. 52 people on payroll. Wow. And I'm so, like. But this lady's been so patient. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, we're gonna that's kill true. It right here, we're the killing five it. people in Clarksville. We're thank killing you. it. Thank you. We're not killing uh, it. Get some sleep, homie. Okay, go bed. Before uh, we kill it, I actually just want to reiterate a couple of things to you guys. A, 
don't not be at Love Blood Inc. tomorrow by 10 a.m. Tomorrow. If 10, you cannot make it here 10, by 10 a.m., get here at 11. Get here at noon. Get right. here. But but get here. Get a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Get a cool tattoo. Get a haircut because you probably need oh, one. Whoa, whoa. I felt like that was directed to me. <clears throat> <clears throat> This no. guy's this guy's over here trying to pay me a hundred bucks to shave my beard. <laughs> we just, no, what I we said. What I said. We just weren't <laughs> sure. All right, listen. Mike's gonna match me a hundred, sure. right? So there's two hundred. I got a hundred for you. Here's the problem. Everybody's oh, like, hey, it's two hundred now. Clean rock. That's not clean rock one because he doesn't have sorry. a pompadour and a clean shaved face. That's not clean rock one. That's not clean rock one. I said, hey, clean. Listen. Yeah, you have he, he hadn't slept. He gets off the fucking airplane and he's walking through his bag. He's like, hey, listen, I got a great idea. <laughs> Because I haven't slept I said, either. Dizzy, you can't say that. I left for the airport at four o'clock. I uh, fucking get to the airport. I was like, clean. I got, a, I got an idea. Uh, I have a barber shop. It's fucking great, right? Let's get you. Let's, and I show him a picture of himself in 2000, what, 17, 18? What was season 11? Season 11 was uh, 2018, 18. I think. Yeah. I said, let's give him clean rock one because nobody fucking believes you. I coming. can't believe the way that we this tried guy to works. Get, <laughs> we tried to get 5K followers, right? 5K. Oh, yeah. Listen. Why? And this, if, can everybody go follow Nature's Beast right now, please? Uh, we tried I'm a, to get I'll lose my I job. I going to give away a $500 Eventually. Tattoo. They didn't believe he was coming. He's here, motherfuckers. And anyway, if we don't get 5K followers, they'll fire me. Here's what I said. Did Damn. you know that? I said, hey. Oof. I know. Were they, like, like, how will they do it, though? Like, Probably, like, like, um. Share off a bridge? Yeah, like, what's the, what's the, what's the word? The bad style. I got a lot of Execution style. That's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, Gaunt, it's straight gauntlet. Straight gauntlet, yeah. dude. Jeez. We need 5K followers or else it's going down the tubes for Cali. Back to the haircut. So I, yeah. said, <laughs> so I said, hey, Clean Rock, I got a great idea. And he's like, he puts his fucking beanie up a little bit. And he's like, kind of fucking like, just looking at me. I was like, <laughs> he's like, dude, I ain't cutting my hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. The audacity. Yeah, so, so, so the next day, I'm like, or the, later on that day, I'm like, I'll give you 100 bucks. He's like, please Damn. put a zero behind it. I'm like, what the fuck? He harassed you off yeah, rip. Yeah, if you put a zero behind it, I'd be like, thank you very much. And I'd grow it out again <laughs> the next week. <laughs> the next week. So it grows that fast. Uh, it does. This is only like a couple this, weeks. This is fucking Nashville. What are you talking about? And maybe, maybe there's a month. My beard actually grows that fast, too. Mash. <laughs> I told you I had a fuzzy navel as well. <laughs> Fuck Anyways, me. if you would like to see more of this, please follow For The Record podcast on Instagram, on TikTok. Follow everything else as well, please. I got to get, I gotta get all that stuff. I don't have that stuff. I had to get rid of my TikTok. I got rid of my TikTok. If you need help with that. I got rid of my TikTok and know. I got rid of my Snapchat. I had that for like a day and I was like, no, oh. thanks. We're going we're gonna to um, we're gonna try to get clean out here more than one time, obviously. Uh, I think he's our best he, friend he's, now. He's been so great to us and just so great in general. That <clears throat> he's really become, I think, I like him. part of our fam, right? And we keep our fam tight. We Mikey do. Here, he's part of the fam, right? Dizzy's been trying to fix my tire for six weeks at least. Yep. I'm gonna have to buy fucking tires for a fucking Hyundai. Uh, <laughs> I patched the hole though. She patched the hole. So look, there was two Sonatas parked side by side. Yeah. White. Damn. One has a hole bumper. Hers has a fucking basketball sized hole in the bumper. <laughs> so I took a picture. Look, and I went, look, Callie, hole Sonata. What, what was it? Sonata hole. Sonata hole. <laughs> <laughs> and literally came running into the shop like he was so, so entertained by this. Sonata, Sonata hole. hole. Sonata <laughs> hole. My misfortune. I and was it, like, and she oh. put her head down, and I thought she was gonna cry. <laughs> she was devastated by this hole. Devastated, devastated by this hole. And I was like, so much in fact. Callie, I patched Callie, it. <laughs> are you are you fucking blowing up a fucking tire right now? I said because I told you three weeks ago. It's $30 to fix the fucking tire. I'm a stickler. And her mom's like, hey, Dizzy, come over and look at this one. <laughs> and she shows me this other tire. My mom was here. <laughs> Dude. I don't know how you're you, doing you, I'm just a girl. You know those, okay, so I was uh, a couple, my, my truck's <laughs> in the shop the back in Vegas at the body shop. So I was driving around uh, one of my girl's cars, and it was one of her sister's cars that was getting repoed. So it was just like this. At any moment, oh you could be God. without wheels, right? Oh, it did. It came, okay, but okay, remind you, 
the tires were completely bald, like, tread yeah. on both I on both front it. tires. Fuck. Fuck it, dude. it had some Take weird, it had tires. some weird <laughs> ass grinding on it to where I was like, dude, you cannot go on the expressway on this thing. You cannot go over fifty miles an hour on this thing. Like, it was so bad. So it had a key fob that you had <laughs> so to like, bad. you know, have it in the car and push the button. So girl logic was just tap the tap the key fob on the console you know and i'm I like i actually have to start my car this way too okay well that's like not how you close. do it you have to just Bing. just push the button with the key fob hold that's it there what I do. hold it there for 10 seconds and then just push the fob and it goes oh okay yeah that's what i do well my girl she's sitting there beating on this thing i'm like no 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 what the fuck are you doing well anyhow i'm at the i just i just go to the shop to stop in the bullshit you know i i had my coffee in the car i was just running in to grab something and then I'm sitting there bullshitting. I'm there already for 20 minutes, you know. I just stopped at uh, the coffee shop, got some coffee and my backpack, and I look out, and I see the tow truck back in. Oh! <laughs> With the quickness. I mean, I'm yeah. talking he was that quick. Oh. By the time I ran outside, Lizard he... Lizard lick. Lizard lick. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I got outside, I opened the door. The back end was up in the air, and I jumped in, and I oh. grabbed my, my... I said, I just want my coffee! I want my coffee! <laughs> I grabbed my coffee like, yeah. and the ba- and my backpack, and the guy's like, "Hey man, like, if you if you give me the key, I'll be really cool." And I'm laughing my ass off at this point because we knew at any minute for the past month it was gonna get totaled. But I just was like, "Well, I don't want to drive my hot rods and whatever. I'll just drive this beater, you know." So it was just hilarious. So, anyhow, that's actually. So, but the tires on it were ready to blow yeah. at any moment. So we didn't care if it got re We didn't care. That's fucking crazy. It needed so much work. I was like, like they're like, oh, just put new ball bearings, ball joints on it, put new bearings, put new wheels. I'm like, Replace why? Replace the car. The, why? The, the, they're, they're, they're coming to take it. They're coming to, literally, they're, <laughs> they're coming to take it. Well, like they, so, they've been hunting me down if, for. So if Callie falls behind her car payments, I don't know if the repo guys will even recognize her car. So, because it's had a hole in the fucking bumper. Because it's, so fi- it's a figure eight car now. Be- because it's, a, it's, not a, it's, it's not a hole. <laughs> we also need to start a GoFundMe for Callie. Thank right. you. It's, it's, it's literally a bumper. Uh-oh. It was, Uh-oh. It, was, That's it, mom. it was due to mom's calling. the other person not having insurance. Not that I was irresponsible. Hey, you hear the phone? What are you guys doing? Mom's calling. Word close. I'm watching you guys on a goddamn on a goddamn live feed. Looks Shut like, the fuck up. Looks and let's like go. We're talking about Callie's bumper. Looks like you're having fun. <laughs> and you know how I don't Anyways, like that. We are having a lot of fun. And, and on other notes, I feel like we've tried. So this is why we can't ever leave, no it turns no out. Uh, fun police. There's 64,000 people watching on my Woo! phone. Oh. Hey. I, I feel like we should have 64,000 followers on Nature's Beast Tattoo Care. Yo, see? Huh? What I'm saying? Go to Nature's Beast uh, Tattoo Care. It's because of me. Is it me? They won't follow Nature's Beast because of me because it feels personal as fuck. Probably because of your phone ringing in the background. Mom! Yeah, I, God, is that you? <laughs> Stop calling! <laughs> You're ruining my podcast, right, Mom. Right. <laughs> Let me play with my That's friends. That's worse than a cell phone in church. Shit. So, right. uh, so anyway. Yeah. I got a tattoo to do. Yeah. Yep. All right, man. We're going to let Clean do his tattoo, and we're going to be back on our bullshit tomorrow. I'm sure we'll go live tomorrow. Not on For the Record, but please stay tuned to all the rest of our social medias. That would be True Gentleman Barbershop, Love Blood Inc., Nature's Beast Tattoo Aftercare, Signature Tattoo Supply, Nate Latte, Clean Rock One, DJ Rakowski, Sideshow Danny, Dizzy, Josh Rab, Ian. I mean, it, we have so many of them, so just don't miss out on that, and we'll see you guys next time on For the Record. <laughs> We's out. <laughs>